Today we got our hands on a brand new AI laptop from MSI. A lot of people usually keep looking to buy like a new gen laptop uh, suitable for like content creation, productivity or generative AI related stuff, right? Or even if you're like a student working on programming, coding, LLMs, generative AI stuff, right? You might be like quite interested in this sort of stuff. This is MSI's all new Prestige 16 AI Evo 2025 model guys and packs like really interesting hardware at this price point. First of all, this is based on Intel's all new Core Ultra Series 2 platform and packs like powerful hardware on board and also comes with like upgraded GPU and NPU. It's got Intel Arc graphics Arc 140T and paired with their all new Intel AI Boost NPU guys. So great for like AI related workloads as well. And not only that, other specs and stuff are also like quite interesting. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the review. So there is nothing much to unbox over here guys. The laptop came in this sort of packaging. You just have the MSI Prestige branding on the front side. Model is B2HMG and our variant packs like Intel's Core Ultra 9 285H CPU. So in the package you just get the laptop along with a 100 watt PD fast charger and a main squad for the adapter. That's it. These are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let me give you like a closer look at the laptop and first of all talk about the whole design, build quality and features. So there you go boys our brand new MSI Prestige 16 AI Evo 2025 laptop and this is how it looks like. Initial impressions I have to say laptop has a very clean and modern looking profile right. I mean look at the top lid over here. There is nothing over here just a chrome finished MSI logo at the center top lid and that is pretty much it. If you ask about the color right I believe it's called as the stellar grey and looks lovely guys. Main highlight I have to mention is check out the dimensions of this laptop. It's a quite slim laptop considering the kind of hardware and specs it's offering. Thickness of this laptop is only around like 0.74 inches and only weighs around like 1.5 kg so you can easily take it anywhere maybe you're like a college student or something right. You can easily throw it in your backpack and carry it to your college every day guys not an issue at all. And if you ask about the build quality, good build quality entire body is made of magnesium aluminum alloy and definitely feels quite nice and good thing is the body doesn't seem to attract fingerprints also that easily but one thing I do have to mention is what I've noticed during the last couple of days is the quality of the hinge on this model is not up to the mark guys I mean look at this if you try to hold the laptop like this right the lid is not stable you can definitely see a bit of gap over here I mean check it out what is this MSI? You guys definitely need to have a look at this thing. What happens is if you try to hold the laptop like this, right? You can definitely see a bit of visible gap between the top lid and the body. It doesn't look nice and especially not aesthetic when you're spending quite a bit of money on a laptop. Let me give you a closer look and show you all the available IO connectivity ports on this model. Starting off from the left to profile, there is nothing over here, just a left exhaust vent and a can sit and lock. That is pretty much it. And on the other profile, right? You've got some status LED indicators, a power indicator, battery charge, indicator this one is your 3.5 mm audio jack SD card reader is also available Ethernet LAN port and if you're wondering where are the USB ports man well they're neatly organized and present at the back profile of the laptop I mean check it out you've got exhaust vents on both the left and right profile and at the center you're getting a full size HDMI port a USB 3.2 type A gen 1 port is also available and two type C ports are there that support Thunderbolt 4.0 as well decent amount of connectivity ports guys will easily get your day-to-day -day job covered only thing I felt is you know wish it had one more USB type A port because if you're using like wireless peripherals maybe like a mouse or keyboard right you don't have one more spare USB port uh, to maybe connect some storage devices or something like that and here's how the bottom profile of the laptop looks like again I've told you right all metal body you've got plenty of cutouts and vents over here basically the cooling system rubber foot pads on all the corners and if you ask about the memory configuration this laptop is available in like multiple memory configurations today we have the maxed out variant guys featuring 32 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM and also 1 TB PCI Gen 4 SSD. Unfortunately the RAM on this model is not expandable it comes soldered on the motherboard but not to worry storage on it is expandable you're getting a spare M.2 slot so you can easily expand the storage. So that's it our complete overview on the exteriors let me quickly open up the top lid and show you the interiors as well. First thing you'll notice as soon as you open the top lid is you can open the lid of this laptop using a single hand just like this makes it quite convenient 
convenient and there you go boys let's start off with the upper half section so on board the laptop comes with a large 16 inches UHD plus resolution OLED display guys that supports up to 100% DCI-P3 color gamut range bezels definitely look quite slim on the left and right profile but on the bottom you're getting a massive chin guys with the MSI logo going to the top here you're getting a FHD IR webcam along with a manual privacy e-shutter so that is about the upper half section let me give you a closer look at the lower half section and talk about the keyboard and touchpad the prestige 16 AI Evo comes with a white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is nice I've been using it for the last couple of days right had a comfortable overall experience quality of the keys keycaps is also good and as I've told you white LED backlighting is like fully adjustable using the function keys and coming to the touchpad my god check out the size of this touchpad guys you're getting a premium touchpad over here super large size that feels quite comfortable while using easily recognize all my inputs and gestures and quality of the integrated buttons are also nice so keeping all that aside, let's actually move on and get to the main aspects of the laptop. Let me first tell you about the display and built-in speakers quality. This laptop comes with a 16 inches UHD plus 3840 by 2400 resolution to be precise and OLED display guys. And I'm telling you right, I've been using the laptop for the last couple of days and it's a beautiful looking display guys. MSI has not compromised over here, but only downside I felt is you're only getting like 60 Hertz refresh rate guys. Are, are you kidding me MSI? I mean for the price that we're paying, right? Right? you should have given us at least 120 hertz i mean OLED display I do appreciate the fact that it's a beautiful looking display but man you guys compromised on the refresh rate anyways if you ask about the detail good amount of detail UHD plus resolution at 16 inches offers like crisp and clear detail guys all the text is like easily readable great for content creation and productivity good amount of contrast ratio obviously it's an OLED panel you'll get like true blacks and if you ask about the colors colors were also nice let me tell you this panel supports up to like 100% DCI-P3 color gamut range and color accuracy color reproduction everything was like on point guys if you do a bit of photoshop and maybe like color grading stuff right you'll be like super happy and satisfied with the kind of panel you're getting over here brightness is also like quite sufficient and not to forget it supports display hdr true black 600 as well so not just content creation or work related stuff even if you want to enjoy some entertainment media consumption right great for these sort of applications now coming to the speakers on board you're getting like built-in stereo speakers each of two watts totally four watts of output and speakers quality was fine not the best i would say will get your job done good amount of detail all the dialogues were like crisp and clear audible but output was tad a bit less guys wish it had slightly more output for the price that we're paying okay i know you people have been waiting for this part right so let's talk about the overall performance of this laptop first of all let me tell you about the hardware and our particular variant so our laptop is powered by intel's core ultra series 2 platform specifically the core ultra 9 285h cpu and this is a monster cpu is what i can say 16 cores 16 threads with a max turbo clock of up to 5.4 gigahertz and this intel cpu is based on the 3d performance hybrid architecture featuring p cores e cores and also lpe cores our particular variant features like six p cores eight e cores and two more lpe cores which automatically assign tasks and get your job done pair that with intel's arc 140t gpu it can easily handle a bit of gaming as well we'll come there and talk about that in a moment and not to miss out you're also getting an upgraded npu as well intel AI boost that is almost four times faster than the first generation NPU. So just now I was talking about NPU, right? What exactly is an NPU? Now NPU stands for Neural Processing Unit and in our case they're calling it as Intel AI Boost and this is made specifically to handle all your AI related applications or tasks, thus offloading your CPU and GPU and improving your overall performance and also efficiency. Anyways, keeping that aside, let's talk about the overall performance. I was running the laptop with variety of applications like having a bunch of edge tabs open in the background, browsing the web running 1080p videos on youtube and simultaneously doing a bit of photoshop nothing seemed to slow it down muska performance is what i can say and especially if you're like a student or maybe you're from ai background in your work right and you run a lot of ai models generative ai related applications or maybe llms on your device that npu can definitely come in handy for you people the onboard npu intel ai boost enables some brand new user experiences using windows studio fx and also offers some exclusive features across creator apps 
simply head over to this section and you'll find plenty of features again i'm telling you this is not a dedicated gaming laptop so don't expect you would be able to play like triple a title games with maximum graphics with triple digit fps no this is not made for that purpose but still who's gonna stop us from playing games i mean yes casual gaming you'd like to do right so that is what we'll be testing out right now for that sake we will be playing some of the popular triple a title games in the market right now and that too starting off with our all-time favorite gta 5 we will be playing this game at 1080p resolution and all the graphics set to normal preset and there you go boys just sit back relax and hope you enjoy the gameplay oh are you people looking at that frame rate not bad right i mean look at that triple digit fps on an average so at 1080p normal graphics preset we were easily getting around like 110 to 115 fps on this laptop i can definitely see a good improvement in the graphic performance as far as i remember right when i played gta 5 with the same 1080p resolution normal graphics preset i was roughly getting around like 75 to 80 fps on the core ultra series 1 cpus now you're getting around like 110 to 115 fps that is definitely big gains i would say we're almost coming to an end so let me tell you about the battery life as well msi's prestige 16 features a 99.9 watt hour battery which is almost like a 100 watt hour battery guys pretty big battery i would say considering for a slim category notebook and battery life was like really good guys especially in this segment on a moderate sort of usage with the brightness set around say 55 percent and if you're using it for like day-to-day -day sort of activities browsing the web maybe checking out your mails doing a bit of text editing photo editing and casually watching some 1080p videos on youtube YouTube, right i was easily getting around 14 to 15 hours of battery life it's a great laptop especially for all the professionals and content creators who are looking for like no compromise performance in a compact and slim form factor added you're also getting like a beautiful 16 inches uhd plus 16 by 10 aspect ratio oled display and all those ai related features as well the pricing for the base variant of this laptop starts around 99,000 rupees in the indian market and goes up depending on the specs and configuration i'll leave links to that in the description box below you can check it out there if you all enjoyed watching the video and got everything you needed make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one